So now I've um, I took this same pot. Now I'd used it down to here with that um, half a pot of water with three drops of ink, but I'm finding it too grey to go further. And I want to try and do some um, more intricate things now. So I've just added three more drops of of um, paint into this into what was left, and as it happens, I still have some. Um, of the other mix, the weaker mix, in my uh, cup. And this is a tip that somebody told me before, that if you, if I squeeze that up out of there, instead of throwing it away, I can just shove that back in my pot. I'll put some more ink in here and see what this mix is like. Okay, so I'll just start doing some lines. Paint, air on three, paint. Yeah, that's a bit clearer. See if I go a bit nearer. Yep, there you go. I keep doing that. Okay, so now I'm going to try and do some what they call dagger strokes. So they start off thicker and they go thinner. That's the, the whole point of it. Again, you put the air on and you're moving and you put your paint on and then you turn the, turn the paint off and then the air off. Air on, paint. No, this isn't working. That isn't working. Uh, let me try to do some fish hooks. Funny. <laughs> I'm sure you, if you're watching this, I'm sure you've seen other videos and you'll see that the people already have some experience. Now you know, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to carry on with that. I also think I do need to use um, some thicker ink, uh, thicker paint for this. But I'll carry on with this for the moment, just to give me the feel, see what dagger strokes and fish hooks feel like doing, even though they are rubbish. Okay, I don't know if you can see this um, horrendous mess here, but uh, nothing's particularly distinguishable. Um, it's all, I've gone over things and blah blah blah, you can't see. I've done a few little curly cues here which are like these E's. It might be the only thing you can see. Um, but uh, I've uh, finished for the day. Um, I'm going to now uh, clean my airbrush. Don't forget to clean your airbrush. Um, I've also been told I don't have a Windex or, or Windeline um, because I live abroad, but apparently um, Glassex. I'm going to try uh, using this to clean. Um, out my airbrush um, and see if that works. It's supposed to be very good to, also for thinning paint. I will be trying that later on as well. Especially at this stage, I don't need to be using the um, more expensive uh, uh, cleaner and thinner when um, I'm just making messes like this. No, I don't. So now is a good time to, uh, to use it. And um, I don't want to save any of my artwork. <laughs> I don't know, could hang this up in the Tate. I'm sure they'd be interested. Uh, so um, I'm going to start cleaning my stuff with this. If I start having problems or whatever, I'll let you know. So this is just ordinary window cleaner. Um, just uh, one thing is you want to make sure that it doesn't, I think there's no vinegar in it. Um, some of them apparently can come with a, a mix of vinegar in it. You don't want them, the vinegar, it can damage your, um, your airbrush. And you also want to make sure that even though there might be small amounts of ammonia in, in these, um, that you want to make, make sure that it doesn't have uh, like lots of ammonia in it. Um, so uh, do, do check before you use it. But um, 
again, it was somebody on the internet he used using Windelene, and um, he had a little bit of ammonia in in, in his um, Windelene, but um, and he's been he's been using it for years and never had any problems. But he did warn against don't get the ones with extra ammonia in it, and definitely don't get the one with vinegar in it. Okay, um, till next time. Bye.